So in this video, I'm going to actually explain what I did to solve the uh, transformation problem here on the back side of homework 90. Okay, so now it says graph and label the points below. So the first thing you have to do, they gave us these numbers, negative 5, uh, 7, negative 9, 2, 4, 3. So we, negative 4, 3. So we came down and we graphed those. They're all right here. So just to recap, you always start here. Negative 5 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Positive 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You go up. All of these are negative positive, so they're all going to be in this quadrant. So all of them, you start by going left, then going up. Now, we're doing a 90-degree rotation, which this is. That's when we've moved it. We had to supply these numbers. And like the rules say, the first thing we do is ignore the signs, and flip the numbers. So you had 5, 7, become 7, 5. 9, 2, 2, 9. 4, 3, 3, 4. Okay, so they flip. Then you decide the sign. So you make this like a clock, okay, going like this. And it says to go counterclockwise. Clockwise would be this way. We're going counterclockwise down to here. Now the sign of everything down here is negative, negative. So I simply put in the negative signs, negative, 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 and then graphed them. So negative 7, negative 5 would mean come over 7 this way, and then down 5. Uh, point B would be over to the left 2, down 9, and so on and so forth. So this is a transformation, it's the particular type of transformation is a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation of that figure. Uh, again, this is hard, but if you learn the basic principle of for a 90 degree rotation, you flip the numbers. If you got that part, then you only have to decide which quadrant it goes into. It's either going to go there or here. Everything here is positive, positive. Everything here is negative, negative. So it's easy to decide what the signs are.